hello guys welcome back to my channel it's miss ife okay so today's vlog is really going to be about how to get into the graduate medical program at the university of ghana which is a program i'm currently doing here at the university of ghana so the gem program which is the graduate entry medical program is a program where um graduates of bio biological sciences are admitted to study med uh, medicine as a pr um, pr graduate on the graduate course how does it work so the gem program is a four-year program in which you do three semesters of basic sciences and anatomy um physiology biochemistry and basically the, the basic sciences and then you proceed to two and a half years of, um, of clinical sciences. I have just completed the third semester of my uh, of, of my program so it means come October when we resume I'll be starting the clinical phase that is the two and a half years for clinical sciences. Okay cool. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is the time for you to subscribe because I am sharing my life um, as a medical student here at the University of Ghana during my GEMP program. Yeah, so this video will focus mainly on how to get into the program, the GEMP program, as a foreign student because I'm a foreign student. Foreign student, I'm Nigerian. I mean, I'm a qualified foreign student. So what? How do? How will this qualify their foreign students? So. You can be of Ghanaian descent, but you probably are, say, um, living outside the country, did your um, secondary education or university degree outside, your secondary education basically outside the country, and you want to apply as a foreign student, apparently your chances are better at getting in because the competition is tough basically, like the competition is tough. But as a foreign student, anyone who is non Ghanaian, really is a foreign student i'm a foreign student i'm even if i'm nigerian and we're part of the echo as well i'm still considered a foreign student i know it's sad but yeah foreign student you could be Ghanaian. say i had a classmate who was born and lived her whole life in the u.s was even working in the u.s on application she had two options as a Ghanaian or as a foreign student she chose to apply as a foreign student because obviously like any premier university is a quota for international students for you to qualify and keep you know holding your premier university state status so yeah she felt the competition was e was less in the, in the international student or foreign student section so she applied as a foreign student and she got in so yeah you have that option if you're Ghanaian and you don't want to contend with the other Ghanaians like Ghanaians coming into the program at like 95% of the application. The many 5% of the application is just like for like international students that are coming in. Yeah, so how does it work? What are the requirements? First off, before you can come in, you need to meet the basic requirements. What are the requirements? First off, you must have a background, a university degree of biological sciences, of which you successfully completed the degree with a certificate to show for it, with a minimum of a 2-2 like a second class lower, you must have a minimum of a second class lower. The last time I checked, that was the requirement. So please try to go on the university website and update yourself when at, when next you want to apply. Then um, you must, you would also submit your WAEC, um, WASI or GCSE, um, high school diploma, your O level, whatever it's called in your country, you have to submit your WAEC um, results or some call it WASI results, some call it um, GCS, where, wherever part of the world you are coming from, your high school diploma, your old ordinary school living certificate, your old level certificate, you have to submit it. Then uh, you have to, your university has to send a transcript straight to the University of Ghana because they don't want you to tamper with it. So your university will send a transcript straight to the University of Ghana, um, GEM Secretariat. Then you have two recommendations from, I don't know, maybe your lecturers preferably. I used um, the two um, lecturers, the doctors who supervised my dissertation in my final year, my both my literature review and my lab, my lab research, so I took one from each of them, and then they will send it straight to the university secretariat, 
the game secretary because obviously they don't want you to tamper and falsify your recommendation. Then, thankfully, there's no personal statement, so there is no need for a personal statement. You do not have to write a personal statement. Do you know how happy I was when I said there was no personal statement? Yeah, the next you submit two passport photographs, not necessarily the visa type, but two passport photographs. Then your certificate of national service, if it applies to you. I had done my NYC by the time I was applying, so I just attached a copy of my NYC certificate to it. But it's not compulsory really for international students. But um, for home students, well, I'll do a video for you. So stay um, peeled to the channel. But for me, I just failed to attach it because it was like, on the list of requirement but it's really really not compulsory for international students especially if you don't have that sort of program in your country then you have to submit a copy of your passport data page along with the documents then a sponsor's letter and the letter must state must state they are ready to sponsor you and will be held accountable for any of your fees throughout the duration of your program if it doesn't state that I mean, they will never ever tell you that, but really, if your letter doesn't state that, then I'm sorry. Um, I don't even know how you're going to go for it, even if, I mean, it will be bad, it really, really like some divine favor or something. Your letter has to state that your sponsor bearing responsibility for your fees and wish to be held accountable and responsible. Like, you know how the sponsorship letters go and all that, yeah. Then, last and um, foremost, a very credible bank statement. Um, yeah, so a bank statement and the last one is a form you have to fill just to get get a sense of who you are really and then on that same form I, I remember mine had um, a place for my um, the address and um, names of my recommend of people that were supposed to write my recommendation and a place for them to sign so I had to send that form at an email to my um, to my lecturers, they signed it and emailed it back to me. So I just literally sent that page back to them. They signed it and scanned it back to me. So basically, you can walk around things. Or some people have this e-signature thing, which if you send to them, they can just uh, attach it and send it back. But me, I literally just scanned mine, sent it, and they. I think she signed it. I don't even know how she did it. I think she printed it out, signed, then scanned it back to me. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah. Let's move on to the process, like the whole admission process. By the way, if you haven't subscribed and you've listened this far, I think it's only fair you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to bring you more interesting videos. Stay tuned. Now, the process of getting into um, University of Ghana Medical Schools graduate entry medical program that's such a mouthful don't you think so we'll just call it UGMS GEMP program yeah so cool how do you get into GEMP there's three process there's the um, the application and the tu tutorial stage that's the way I like to say it then the examination and the interview so cool we've talked about the application so once your application gets in you have to make sure it gets in um, before the deadline day, you know, you don't want to, you don't, you don't even want to be that person that is begging them to take your application and all that. Now, they always organize this three weeks crash course. I call it a crash course. It's a tutorial in which the first week you do maths, English, physics, chemistry, and biology. Trust me, they will take you from your first day you started science to the last thing you did. The last biological science or physics or chemistry you have done in high school. In like literally in like a day, it a whole day for English, a whole day for mathematics, a whole day for physics, a whole day for chemistry, a whole day for um, biology. Then the next week you are going to do um, anatomy, physiology, and um, molecular biology or biochemistry. So here is a copy of the timetable we use during my, oh my set. God. You do those three for five days and you have to pay for that, unfortunately. You have to pay an application fee, then you pay for the course. At the time I was doing it, the course was about 350 Ghana cities and the application fee was $150. I'm pretty sure it has gone up. I'm very sure of that. But I don't know the amount it will be at the time you'll be applying now. But as for me, I got, I did mine, like, application fee was $1,150 um, and, um, 
the cost was 350 Ghana cities, yes. Then, um, basically, after the whole tutorial bit, then you write the exams. Once you write the exams, the result come out either that day or the next day. But most of the time, the result comes out that it's all MCQ. So 60 questions and um, 60 questions in all the parts except the biochemistry slash molecular biology we get which gets about 120 questions right so once you're done with the exams if you if you scale through successfully and yes you do everything at a go like you, on one day once you're successful with the examination process you go on ahead for the interview <music> I think I was asked about Buhari, President Buhari, and um, I was asked why the Nigerians call him a slow president. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, share the video with your friends, and comment if you have any questions or if you have any contributions. I will be really happy to hear back from you.